Hello, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we imported the hive map from world machine and created this landscape you can see now. And this time I am going to show you how to texture this landscape with our material we created. So I'll open our material. So this is the material instance we have used in our landscape. It has four colored layers and some properties to blend height, blend height sharpness, blend bias like that. And we have discussed how to create this material in previous videos. And this is the material. These are the base color parameters. And these are for the for each layer. We have this same material function used. So I'm going to show you how to instead of using a single color, how to use textures. So let's get started. Okay, I'll open this material function we have created. And here, as you can see, for now we have input a vector 3. So instead of this, I'll first find some material textures. And with starter contents, we got these textures. And I'll drag and drop this ground grass and ground grass normal. Drag and drop here. Right. So now, if I input this texture instead of this input, you will see the effect. And for the normal map, I can input this one. Right. Now we get uh, this preview of our material with the texture of a grass and this uh, the normal map texture. But this is not an input. This is just a static texture. So how to convert this to an input so that I can input the texture, whatever the texture I need from here, like I input the color. To do that, I'll convert this to, I'll drag a line here and make a function input. Right, and I'll select this input type as function input texture 2D. Right, and also now I get this error missing preview connection function input in because this is an input and so we do not have a, a, an actual texture here for now to just for the preview purposes I'll con promote this to a parameter and I'll select class for now so now we can get rid of that error and I'll call this base texture or base color okay since the, we already have this one I'll delete this one and I'll name this base color right and I'll do the same for this normal map as well I'll just select this and duplicate and plug it here and instead of this one I'll select this one and I'll call this one normal <coughs> right now let's wait okay so we got this one so now if I apply these changes now we get a bunch of errors that's because we haven't uh, defined inputs here so I'll delete these colors for now and and I'll promote these two parameters so first we got this uh, I'll promote this one base color and I'll call it 
L1 texture and this one also I will promote to a parameter I'll call it L1 normal and I uh, just uh, note that I interchanged this one because usually we should get this base color at the top but it doesn't matter it's not a big issue so I'll duplicate these for each layer okay and I'll just pause the video so that we you can get so that we can save some time okay so I created uh, six uh, parameters sorry eight parameters for each of these layers and I selected ground grass normal map and ground grass texture for the base or default parameter te texture parameter for all of these layer inputs so we, uh, when I apply this and after that I can change these parameters into whatever the texture I need in here also we can see that now it, this uh, scene will be populated with the texture I just imported inserted into my material here so let's wait till compile and see okay so we got this uh, grass texture all over the place now I'll open my material instance like this and I'll change try changing textures one by one so instead of this one I'll put this one and see what happens okay so this is this should be the rocky surface so for that I'll use this rock basalt texture and for this one I'll use the normal map of the same texture and for this one let's see what this is okay so that's the edge of the rock and I'll keep it as uh, I'll use this rock sandstone for that and I'll apply the normal map of the same texture and what is this one let's find out I'll put this one for now oh, no okay so it is I guess this is the wait let's input another one okay so this is the grass layer so I have I can keep it same as the one we already have and the uh, default input is also the grass normal map so we don't have to change that and about is this fourth layer let's see okay so it is our fourth layer that we thought of as the sand layer or the sea shore so for this I'll use I don't think we have a sand I'll use instead what do we have now okay this I'll use this one crown gravel right and for the normal map this one and what is this fourth layer oh no these are previews we don't need them okay so right so now we got this and so that's how you populate your apply textures to your material created with param uh, created with material functions and that's all for this episode and in the next episode I will show you how to get rid of this tiling effect we see all over the world so see you in the next video 
and I'll show you how to get rid of toweling. And thank you very much. Goodbye.